hey, if you're building apps for this device, uh, you're going to need to test them. Now, you could use uh, Test Flight from Apple to, to uh, get your app to uh, you know, 100 users like uh, Instagram did w when I was one of the first uh, users of Instagram. But uh, that doesn't work on Android. And it uh, doesn't really give you insight as to what your first users are doing and what kinds of things that they're doing to have problems. And so te Test Ferry caught my eye in Israel last year when I, when I visited Israel. And I am happy to have them back here today to talk about what their uh, service does for developers who are trying to get better insights into their apps. Who are you? I'm Yair. I'm a Test Ferry CEO co-founder. I'm from Tel Aviv. Yeah. Uh, very excited to be here at Rexways. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, so Test Ferry is a platform that helps mobile, developer, mobile developers do better testing. Okay. Uh, we started Test Ferry uh, two years ago after developing some photo apps. Uh, one of them was very successful called GroupShot. Um, when we started developing for Android, we saw that it was very challenging. Uh, the, the Android fragmentation was very challenging and it was very hard to test. So so some of the companies I visited have hundreds of Android phones. Absolutely, that's a very famous picture of that uh, meeting room with all the devices on the, on the table. Yeah. So we had that. It was very challenging to, to test those apps. And um, we came up with the idea of, of recording what's happening on a device while an app is tested. And that's where Test Ferry started. Yeah. So uh, where, where you differ from like Test Ferry on or a test flight on from Apple is you actually are recording the app as it's being used. And that way, if uh, somebody has a problem, you c the developer can see that. Now, it's only for testing, right? It's right. Not, it's for you're not gonna, release. You're no. not going to be used after you release the production, no, no, no. right? It's a, it's a testing platform. Um, Testflight is a great tool to send apps to testers, but once the tester got your, app, got your app, you have no idea what they did. There are great ways to send apps to testers, but uh, with all those tools, uh, there's a very common problem that once the tester got your app, you either wait for them to send you feedback or you wait for a crash or to see what happened with your analytics tools. And with TestFerry, you'll see a video that shows you exactly what the user did. Every screen and every touch is recorded, and the result is a video that can help a developer fix bugs faster. Yeah. This is really important because I, I've gotten several apps. I mean, I test a lot of apps because people send, them, send me a link. Hey, will you try my app? And sometimes I can't even get past the main screen. It's like, did these guys test this or think about it? Or you, know, or, you, know, uh, or you ask me too many questions, so I just give up and say goodbye. And the user, the developer never even knows why I didn't get excited exactly. by their they, app. They never know. And uh, not only if, if, if they saw your screen, and they might have uh, know the answer and, and understand what the problem is. Uh, we try to give uh, lots of insights deep into the app, deep, deep, deep into the device that explains what's happened there uh, regarding CPU and memory and battery and, and, and logs. All the logs are uploaded in real time. So if a developer sent you an app to help you test it and it didn't work, they might have, uh, uh, they might have an idea what exactly is not working. If they could connect the USB cable to your device and pull up the logs, um, they would see what exactly happened there. But you're in San Francisco and they're in San Diego. Um, and that's not going to happen. They're not going to ask you to pull the logs out of your device. So with TestFerry, they'll be able to see the logs in real time. So how does this work? Because it, let's say you make a, a new FUBAR app, right? And you give it to me with test, test Ferry, and I start using FUBAR app, and it crashes. How, how does it record that, and how does it get that video back up to you? First of all, the video is real time. Um, for the simple reason that after the app crashed, there's nothing we can do. The app is dead. We can't wake it up to send information only until the next time it runs. Um, so everything is real time. While you're using your app, the developer will see, like in a five or 10 second delay, uh, what exactly happened there. And, uh, uh, and when there's a crash, all the information was already uploaded to the yeah. server, all the logs and all the videos. So, uh, everything will be recorded in real time. Now, it's many apps, uh, you know, uh, like Tinder or even Facebook, you click on something and you wait and it goes and downloads a, a page and starts loading a page up, right? 
does it show you that and does it track uh, how slow an app is or how fast, how responsive an app is? Because all of that means uh, satisfaction for the user, right? Yep, so uh, that's uh, our uh, newest uh, release that is coming up uh, this uh, for Google I.O. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Which should be out by the time this video goes out. Right, so. by the time this video goes, it will not be a secret anymore. Yep. Uh, but it's not a secret already now. And we're, we're adding a capability to... Uh, help developers see if their app is slower than expected. Uh, we're just um, uh, checking the message queue and, and see how much time it takes to a message to go throughout the whole uh, uh, message queue, the, the UI thread. And if, there's, uh, if the app is slow to respond, we'll alert. So it might be that you have an app that looks really good, but in some cases they're like 300 millisecond delay or 400 millisecond delay. A tester or, or a beta tester will never uh, say that there's something wrong here. Yeah. But if you'll see a report that says, all right, that's the video, once the user did this and that and enabled this feature and was out or Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G or whatever, that's when the app started to behaving slowly. So you'll be able to regenerate this problem and, and, and see where the problem is. Can we see what, uh, what Test Ferry looks like and, and see what uh, kind of other kinds of things a developer can learn from using the Is the screen app? on Aerodown? Yeah. yeah. Yes, there it you is. Go. So uh, this is an example for, of the group shot app that I just uh, mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, you can see here exactly what the user did, exactly where they touched the screen and all those yellow spots are the exact coordinates where they touched the screen. So you know exactly what they did before there was a problem or before something unexpected happened. And if somebody says that, for example, here, he marked the whole area on the screen, you can take the video back and see what exactly he means by marking a whole area on the screen. You don't need to, to take this, uh, uh, his description and understand that. In addition to that, you'll be able to see uh, statistics about memory behavior and CPU and, and network and phone signal and battery and Wi-Fi, tons of, of numbers. And if you want to know which device that was exactly, we can go to the device uh, specification and see that the displays KOT 49H, whatever it is, and, and uh, uh, bootloaders is another one, which it doesn't really matter, but you'll have every, every piece of information that um, at the end of the day can answer any question that might come up. This you is really important to fix some of those weird uh, Android bugs, right? Yep. Uh, that are on different devices and different versions of Android. and. Yep. Uh, different uh, kinds of hardware, right? Exactly. And if there's a, like a UI bug, for example, if there's a problem here, and we'll say, right, that all the screenshots are taking during the, the test. So if that's a bug, I'll uh, fill up a bug report. I'll say, uh, this is my first problem, uh, and whatever it is. And I'll just create this bug report, and it goes directly into my bug system. So the tester did not do anything. The developer what got all the systems. Does it integrate? We're with? connected to any bug system in the market. Uh, this one is connected now to Jira. So if I'll click here, this is my first bug. You see, it was, it's already connected to Jira, and uh, you'll see this bug report here with a screenshot that was captured with all the relevant information. So a developer that needs to fix this bug got all the information right away. It's connected to his test ferry account, and when he opened this report, he'll see the video and the, and the logs and, and everything that he needs in order to fix this bug. Yeah, so and I didn't have to add anything to my code uh, in the app, right? I, uh, this Correct, isn't, on uh, Android, there's nothing to add. On Android, we have our magic. Um, what you do, you upload your app to Test Ferry and invite your testers. Uh, on the server, we wrap the app with our code and, and we do a, co a process called instrumentation. We add the code automatically. So when a tester gets the app, he gets an app that looks and behaves exactly like yours, but has what we call self-recording capabilities. The app records itself. There's a screenshot once every second. It's not a high quality video. It's a very um, um, low quality, but very uh, uh, descriptive video that shows you what the user did. So you'll see where they touch the screen and, and what exactly happened there. We don't do video compression on the app in order not to use the CPU for our usage. We're just yeah. guests, so we need to, uh, we yeah. need to behave. You don't a help the developer to know what the module was that was being used or anything like that. Th that's deep inside on, our, that. on our table. Okay. Um, um, we're, we're getting there. It's, uh, we're, we're trying to bring more and more features that are deep into the app that will allow developers to develop faster and, and get to know their apps better. It's not only the UI that matters. Uh, there's a lot of things that there, there are lots of things that happen inside 
uh, on, Android, on iOS and on Android that um, will help you develop better and faster if you'll understand what's happening there. Yeah. Do you, if your app is doing an API call out to a cloud service, do you help the developers see that call being made? Yes, yes. And That's already in beta. Okay. Uh, it will be part of the product uh, um, uh, next month. Um, um, uh, a capture of all the um, API requests to external services, like there is a client server architecture. So you contact the, the server, ask for information. That's the information that came in. And that's how it looks on the screen. So to try to, to help the developer do everything that they can um, faster and, and, and improve their quality. How, how much do you charge for this? How, oh, it's free. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How do you guys make money? <laughs> uh, Tester is free for, for small teams, for small developers. We have okay. a paid version for bigger companies. OK. Where, where is the uh, uh, barrier? You get it for The barrier is mostly in the features that bigger companies need, multiple users, connectivity to external APIs. Uh, we can let you connect all the information that we collect into your BI systems. Yeah. So if you want to uh, do a deep research and understand where users click and what exactly happened on the screen and what exactly uh, users did, how much time it took between clicks, whatever, all the logs are, are available. So yeah. uh, we try to uh, give as much as we can for free to small developers. Yeah. And um, Now, are you able to watch this and, and, wa and see where developers mess up the most? Are you able to see some global things or, um, or are you just not interested in watching your users? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not watching users in my spare time. I'm, <laughs> I'm, watching, I'm watching those apps when there's a problem. Yeah. And uh, uh, the problems are uh, uh, usually related to memory usage and memory behavior of, of apps. We see lots of memory leaks that are uh, hard to trace and, and uh, are, are easy to understand once you see a video. Um, and crashes that are easy are hard to re regenerate, and once you see the video, you see what exactly the user did. Yeah. And now we're trying to take it also to the user behavior aspect to show heat maps and and visual parts of the app. So it will help you to to better understand your users if you send the app to a beta group or to a focus group. Um, it, it's super interesting. Every day we have a new feature, uh, crazier than the one that came yesterday. Yeah. Do you, uh, are you able to see user trends? One of the questions developer, uh, developers often uh, bring up with me is, what percentage of the people will click a Facebook login button instead of typing yeah. in an yeah. email we, address? We also we provide heat maps as part of the uh, paid version. Uh, we keep improving that. Uh, it's, it's definitely part of the things we do. It's, it's exposed in our API to, uh, to developers that need that information. So it, it's, it's part of it. Very cool. Anything else I need to know, or, or uh, developers need to know? Because I'm not a developer. Um, I, I guess they already saw our URL. I don't know if they can see my T-shirt, but yeah. if they can, it's yeah. tetsfair.com. And how are you funded? Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about the company behind this. Uh, the company, uh, we're six guys uh, full-time, a um, few more freelancers helping us. Um, we just raised the pre-seed of half a million dollars. Uh, we're already making money, so we, don't, we didn't need a lot of money. Um, We'll do our A round later this year. Very cool. And it's going really well. Cool. And where do I get it again? Testfairy.com. T E S T F A I R Y.com. Very cool. Thanks for what you're doing for Thank Engine you for Programmers. Your